Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. Welcome to Fintech Monthly for September 2016. We're filming from the London Innovation Centre of consulting and technology firm Synecron. The hub enables financial services companies to view and prototype technology-led innovations. In funding news, due course and invoice financing service for SMEs receives £6.25 million. The Manchester-based firm hopes to raise a further Series A round over the next 10 months. Point-of-sale finance company Devido raised £2.5 million from Mangrove Capital Partners and DN Capital. The firm enables customers to spread the cost of any purchase over a period of time while the retailer gets paid in full right away. Curve, a bank account management platform, raised £2 million in seed funding, bringing its total raise to £3.5 million. The mobile platform allows users to connect multiple bank cards and manage them with one PIN number. Cambridge-based Cashflows acquired virtual payment solution company iCheck Network Limited. Formerly known as Voice Commerce Group, Cashflows technology helps businesses to accept online card payments. Accenture announced it is patenting a system that will allow data processed and stored using blockchain technology to be edited. A controversial move as a defining feature of blockchain tech is its immutability. I asked Penny Sanders of Gowling WLG to explain more about this move. Accenture claims that in permission systems, having a central administrator to amend or delete information stored on a blockchain will make the technology more attractive and commercially viable for banking, insurance and capital markets. This new prototype has raised a lot of questions though. For instance, who will act as blockchain administrators? Under which legal framework will they intervene and will their editing be reactive or proactive? Also, under what circumstances would administrators be allowed to intermediate and who will verify and monitor them? Administration also implies a certain degree of monitoring. However, with blockchain tech operating at a global level, it may become unrealistic to monitor all the different streams of data. It's safe to say the fintech community is eagerly awaiting more information on this innovation. HSBC will allow customers to use selfies to open new bank accounts. In an attempt to simplify its application process, the bank will verify potential customers using facial recognition software before allowing them to deposit or withdraw funds. The latest update to Samsung Pay lets customers pay for goods using their eyes. Operating in a similar way to fingerprint verification, the iris scanner on Samsung's Note 7 device can be programmed to enable one set of eyes to authorise payments. The Commonwealth Bank of Australia and Barclays have joined forces to streamline the payment process between Australia and the UK. The CBA app will be linked with Barclays Pingit, enabling customers to send money across the globe with just a mobile number. A new KPMG report revealed the European online alternative finance market, which includes crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending, grew 92% in 2015. The UK was the largest market for alternative finance by a considerable margin, followed by France, Germany and the Netherlands. Barclays latest Rise Hackathon, titled Episode 2 – The Bank Awakens, saw 1,045 participants compete in Manchester and Mumbai. The hackathon was designed to address the challenges and opportunities presented to the banking industry by the Directive on Payment Services. This new European regulation is set to come into effect in 2018. That's all for this month's roundup. Visit our FinTech News Channel for more and subscribe now to receive future FinTech monthly videos straight to your inbox. Thanks for watching.